What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to add icons to your unbounce buttons. Because if you're anything like me, you realize that your buttons look much better when they have some sort of arrows pointing, you know, saying, hey, yes, take me to the next page with a little arrow, something that looks like this, right? You see the little arrow there. Now, Unbounce does not have this by default, so we have to kind of go through the manual process. And that process is simply going to websites that have your arrows and copying and pasting them into the button. So you can use a website like this, uh, emojipedia.org. I'll link it in the description below. And you can literally just search what you want. You can even add a little smiley face if you want. So you enter what you want. You say happy person or something. You know, and you get some of these or you get a smiley face. So let's say we, we want this one. We're going to click here. We're going to click copy. And then we can go here. And for example, we can put it at the beginning of this button. So I'm going to control V for Windows space. And there you go. All right. You, you have a little smiley face now, which looks pretty cool. So I'm going to save it. And if you preview it, just so you know that it still stays there. Sometimes if you edit code, it disappears. But in this case, it's still there. So that's awesome. Now, if you're looking for more arrows, you could use arrows here. You could say arrow, right? You, you have some arrows here. Sometimes it will show up differently. So over here, for, for example, it's blue and it's got a little square around it. It might not show up like this when you actually post it because some elements might not uh, be transferred from what it looks like here to the actual page. But that's fine because the idea will be the same. So one thing I do like here is, for instance, a hand. And I like the one that points to the right. Um, let me see. We scroll down. There should be a little hand that points there, this one. So the one that points to the right, this one. Okay. So we're going to select this. We're going to copy it. And I like this one. So I'm going to select that, delete this and paste it here. And something that looks like this. I like the way that looks. You know, it says like, yes, point me, right? C kind of like the same purpose as this arrow does over here. But if you have a landing page without this arrow, it sucks, right? Um, I just like to kind of bring attention to the button and that's what this does. Sometimes uh, your arrows will not show. So if you immediately post an arrow, they will not show up. So all you're gonna have to do is just select a different element so it saves, okay? Let me show you what I mean. So over here, you can also go to these arrow websites like xaylee.info. Just type in Unicode arrows into Google and you're going to come across a bunch of sites. And over here, you can select whatever you want. So this one's going to be transparent. You don't want that because you won't really see the arrow. Uh, but just scroll down, select what you want, uh, and then you can just copy it. So the one we have is this one right here, I think, or this one. That's the one we're using. But you can use any of these arrows. Take a look. Like, let's say we want this one. I'm just going to copy it. Or you can look at the code. Um, they give you the code like U plus 1F896. We'll actually put it in there, uh, I think. But I'm just going to copy this. So Control C, right? I selected it. Control C. And we are going to go back here. Let's say we want to delete this. And I'm going to paste it here. Now, sometimes, like I said, it won't show, right? So you're going to paste it there and you're going to say, well, what, where is it? All you're going to do, just click somewhere else. Click like over here. Just click that and it's going to save, okay? And then it's going to be good. But that's it. That's how you put arrows. Uh, there is a shortcut that Cody taught me from Cody Knows, by the way. Uh, if you're on Windows, for example, you click on the Windows key and a period, okay? So Windows, period. And you're going to see a bunch of different options here. I'm sorry, I don't know what it's like on Mac. Um, but just look up how to pull up emojis, your emoji window on Mac, and that should show up. But over here, you know, you just select what you want. You can also type it in. So for example, you type in arrow and it's going to type that in. You select what you want. Boom. Okay. Like there, right? And there, here's an example of when it doesn't show up. So I'm just going to select something else like this and boom, there, see it showed up there and that's it. We click save. Let me just quickly show you that everything we did is there and that should be it. There you go. And that's how you add icons, okay? Again, you can add anything to your Unbounce page. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you will like my uh, ClickFunnels playlist and my Facebook Ads playlist, which teaches you how to create uh, pages from scratch and how to promote them on Facebook. Thanks again. I will see you in the next video.